Hello, hello. Hey everybody and welcome back to my Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a time lapse of one of the posters I designed for the Hawks Bay Hawks. And if you don't know who the Hawks are, the Hawks are our regional Hawks Bay basketball team who play in the NBL, which is kind of like the New Zealand Australia NBA. So let's do it. So the thing that I'm doing now is I'm grabbing my rubber tool and I'm adjusting the hardness and the size of the pointer. And I'm just going around this Hawks player here, just smoothening out the edges. Is that a word? Smoothening? Um, I don't think so. I'm just making the edges of it smooth and removing any of the background that we don't want. Um, so it takes quite a while, but I think once you get it done, it, it pays off. Okay, cool. So now what I'm doing is um, I've done it to other players and I'm just putting them where I want them to go. Now I've got to find um, a picture for the top. So what I'm looking for here is something that's kind of facing towards me. Um, this picture is good, but not the best. This one is pretty good as well. This is um, Nick Fee and it's good because it shows kind of a front facing position. This one here, I think this is the money maker. This is definitely the one that we're going to use. So we found the money making shot, um, we're just going to take this and pull it in and do what we did to the last ones. Um, so here I'm just doing, taking around the background, taking out all the things I don't need. As I get to his hand, I realize that I've stripped off more than what I'm supposed to. So what I do is I just shape the thumb there, so it looks kind of normal. Uh, just carry on smoothing out the edges, just just my rubber tool, nothing um, complicated, just just a lot of time consuming. No, it's not complicated, just time consuming. I uh, just shape his fingers too because I chopped off more than I should have. Um, when I go around the hair, I like to turn my hardness right down so that it can give off that kind of like fluffyish look. Alright, cool, so we've got it, now we've just got to position it. I'm just going to put it behind all of these other ones that we've already done, um, put them at the top. I'm just sizing up things, things that kind of look good. So once we've done all that, just going to head into edit at the top and go to camera roll. We take our photos into there and I'm just going to turn the clarity up so that the picture becomes more posterized or kind of looks like a drawing. And that'll kind of give it a bit of a dramatic effect that we want. It does look good like how it is, but um, just to take it there for the step. So just using my brush tool, I'm going to go and find kind of a big smoke. I'm going to fade him into the bottom just to give it a little bit more, um, I don't know what you call it, make it look cool. And then I'm going to add some clouds of smoke in and behind, in between. So I'm just bringing in a PNG of the Taylor Hawks logo, double click on it and create a bevel and emboss. So this would just give it a kind of a lift off the page. So lastly, I'm just going to play around with the color of the overall poster. The Hawks main colors are orange, white and black. So we really want to utilize that orange in it just to bring out that Hawks identity. And we've come to the end and this is the final product that we've ended up with. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see the JPEG version of this poster, you can find it in the link in the description. It'll just take you to my Facebook page where you scroll down my timeline and it should be there. But anyway, yeah, I appreciate it. Remember to subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. But if I ever get rich, I will be giving people $5. And you could be one of those people. You never know. <laughs>